Hello once again, Hums Vlog viewers. I have a new addition to my schedule. Every Monday, now, I will have another ensemble for two hours. And it's a thing that I have to do with my scholarship. They emailed me about my requirement to fulfill a certain obligation back to the school for them giving me money, I guess. So I filled out some forms that were like, oh, what kind of music can you play? What kind of music do you want to play? And I told them, I can play jazz and I can play with the singers, but I'd prefer not a lot more jazz because I already am jazz, jazz, jazz all week long. So I thought I might want a break from that. So they put me into a pop rock ensemble, which I thought would be okay. But then I got there and I'll read you off the list of songs that we're playing. Like, Harder to Breathe by Maroon 5. Josie by Steely Dan. I Feel the Earth Move by Carol King. This Love by Maroon 5 as well. I Want You Back by the Jackson 5. Carry On Wayward Son by Kansas. Yes, we're playing it. And Every Little Thing She Does Is Magic. Which is like one of my favorite songs, if not my favorite. So basically, I'm really excited for this ensemble. It's going to be lots of fun. It'll be a nice little addition to my Mondays. And a nice little break away from jazz all the time. Although, actually, I guess I just instinctively play jazzy all the time. And the instructor was like, All right, you're playing too much jazz. you got to take out all the tensions above a seventh. You're only playing four note chords or less. I mean, I can do that, but I'm not used to it. Really. Especially now, because all my lessons are jazz chords. So I'm used to practicing and playing jazz chords. But then you give me C sharp five and all these five chords for like guitar players. I mean, of course it's simple, but it's not the same on piano, you know. It's really like, yeah! Versus, ching! Same notes, but there's a difference. Anyhow, the biggest thing that's happened since the last vlog <coughs> was I was reunited with such an important part of me. And it, it was such, it was, it was so nice to see my ukulele again. But seriously, my parents came up this weekend, and I showed them around all the cool places that I've, I've scoped out, and got really good food, and uh, <coughs> they dropped off a lot of stuff, primarily candy. This right here is a two-pound bag of Sour Patch Kids. Like, it's been like two days, and it's like half gone, if not more. What else do I got here? Candy corn. Favorite way to say red wines in a German accent. Red vines. Swedish fish. More candy corn, holy crap. What's up, Pops? Hi, oh, yeah. And then my signature candy. Oh, Henry bars. If you don't know what they are, it says peanutty caramel fudge bar in milk chocolate. It's basically like a Baby Ruth or a Snickers. Except it has my name on it. So it's awesome. So, in terms of candy, I'm basically good until like Halloween or even afterwards. But now I'm going to queue over to a montage of photos of the weekend because I just brought my camera everywhere that I took my parents. So, some clips of food and them and like my dorm room and me showing them stuff on my computer were very exciting. All right, here we go and go. Family at the burger place for lunch. My delicious burger with mac and cheese on it. And bacon, yes. Michael with his super duper munchy burger. My family in my dorm. Showing my dad some software here. Mom, Nathan, and Michael at the breakfast place we went to. Michael's ridiculously awesome hot chocolate. Dad and I right before we got our food. And best of all, troll face. So now I'll play on this gorgeous instrument. An ode to one of my favorite foods. Especially appropriate for Meatless Monday. I hope you appreciate it.